everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this week's video I'm going to be showing you um, the brush and pencil titanium white powder along with the touch up texture. So this is a really good uh, way of adding white hairs back to your drawing at the end. And you can see here I already had some of the touch up, um, or I already had some of the titanium white powder in the pot. So I've just added the touch up texture and now I'm mixing it together with the handle of a scalpel, not the scalpel end. But I can't seem to get it smooth enough with a paintbrush, um, so I just use this because then I can crush any little bits and pieces. So this is an archival way of adding white hairs back to your drawing um, without affecting your piece in a negative way. So before this came out, people would use gel pens and acrylic paint and things like that. And obviously, if you're putting those water-based products on top of oil and wax bakes pencils they will eventually crack and come off so this is a really great way of doing it and I've just got a really tiny paintbrush and I'm just adding some tiny little extra white bits and then I dab it with my finger if, if it comes out too harsh looking I just dab it with my finger a tiny bit um, to even it up it was then too thick so I mixed in a little bit it takes a bit of tweaking to get it to the right consistency I haven't used this in months um, so it was just getting reused it but you can see here I'm just going along the sort of the white hairs that cross um, and adding in with this paintbrush once you start using it I find that you do need to um, clean your brush every now and again so I just use like a, a little wipe but if you don't it can kind of get a bit clogged but if you've got a cloth next to you then that's fine um, I couldn't get my camera to zoom in any closer so that is why I haven't really got like a super close up but you can see here the white hairs just overlap really nicely um, the really nice thing about this as well, which I do show a bit later in the video, is I did a, a line there that was a bit too thick, um, and because of the touch-up texture, you can go back over it with pencil, and you don't have to just leave it as is, so the touch-up texture can be used on its own, you don't have to use it with the titanium white where you can then add it to a piece if you've burnished too much or you've lost the tooth of the paper you can put the touch-up texture down and then reapply the pencil on top um, which is really handy but I generally just use it for the white hairs like this um, it's a great pencil, I think this is my third video on it now I just thought I'd do a bit of an update um, but it is a great product if you do a lot of portraits and you like your white hairs to stand out a lot and you like your highlights to stand out a lot then it's definitely something that's worth getting um, it really does help <laughs> and, and you can be sure that your pieces are going to last longer because obviously you're not putting something on that's going to break so here you can see that I've put some thicker lines in to show you how to do it so um, you can see the white hairs they are, they come up really nice and bright on top as well and they show up nicely so it's not like a muted white they, it's quite it's quite bright so I tend to go over it with sort of a buff titanium or something just to soften soften it a little so it's not too harsh but that is just me um, if Aliona comes out with a buff titanium version of this I will be so happy that would be the perfect colour. But you can see here that I'm, I've just grabbed some pencils and I'm just adding a few more like for these purple hairs back in and it just goes straight over that titanium white perfectly. It gives me a bit more teeth of the paper um, and it's super easy to work on. So that is the end of this video. I love this product. I have loved it since the moment it came out. Um, So that's about it for this video, uh, you can just see I'm giving you like a little close up, um, you can see the white ha hairs stand out a lot better than they did before, um, 
but yeah that's about it i'll leave links down in the description of where you can get hold of this amazing little thing and all the other materials that i've used in this piece and if you like this video please give it a little thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one bye